guys, today I am so excited. We, or I received the two new Jane Davenport dies. This is the unicorn. This is the mermaid tail and also has some seashells. Over here you have little hearts. And I thought, well, let's see how they work. Okay, so very exciting. I have been waiting on these. I've been on a pre-order list and I ordered them from a website called A Cherry on Top. So, definitely a cherry on top of my day. So, very excited to get these and I can't what I cannot wait to see how they do. All right. Which one should we start with? I'm going to say start with the mermaid tail. Let me just adjust that. Okay, I hope you guys can see everything. All right, so have not, haven't pre-planned any of this. Just grabbed some papers, grabbed um, some tags, and haven't even popped this off yet. Like I said, it was in the mailbox yesterday, and I was just so excited to receive it. Look how that matches. What a beautiful, beautiful color. So we will just start with the mermaid tail. And I had some paper that I had made with some Dilusions inks, and I just wasn't crazy about the colors when I, when I made them. So I thought, well, why don't I cut this page up and see what happens? So no harm if I don't like it, but it will give her, I don't know, kind of like a unique fishy tail color. Oh my gosh, very exciting. First time on the dye machine. And when I was watching, I think it was CHA, they were running these through a couple of times. But let's see if that's even necessary. It might be. No, that is not necessary. That thing cut perfect. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. So you got some little extra pieces. Kind of looks like a little rock you would find in the ocean. Okay, so let's pop this thing out, see if I need to get my little die pick. See what we got. Now, I don't know, all these little pieces are gonna come out. So this is a little, little bit ornate, but it's coming out very easy. Cut fantastically, and if I Maybe pull it out a different way. Let's see. Poke it through this way. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of work there. So, use this into my sticky tool. See if I can pop this out. Hmm. Okay, let's try and maybe since I'm I'm not a seasoned professional, maybe this isn't the way you get it out. Huh. There's, there has to be an easier way to get this out. This is sticky tape. Oh my gosh. This isn't working out well. Alright. There. I bounced it on the table. There. There it comes. That is pretty. Look at that. On a piece of paper, I was like, oh, I'm not really thrilled. That is phenomenal. I have a little roller tool, but I'm afraid to roll it across this just in case. Like, this is from one of the dilutions. It's from this. A lot of times I'll just play and... And I'll make just different, just different colors like that. I don't always do 
a fancy page. But uh, a lot of times I'll just mess around and make backgrounds, rip them out, and then I've got paper. It's, and especially if it's like, oh, I'm not real crazy about that color. But you know what? This is brand new. Everybody needs to see what they're in for. This is going to be totally worth it, I think, once you put it on the card. And there's probably simpler ways to do this. I just don't know how. But this is coming out really easy. Oh, and it is so beautiful. Who would have thought that semi unattractive piece of paper would turn into this gorgeous mermaid tail. Now, I would call that a success. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, you know what? We've got this. May as well make them match. Let's pop off these. These are sturdy too. Sometimes I get a die and I feel like I'm going to break it when I peel it off. Not with these. These are sturdy. Just Put it anywhere. I want to make sure it has plenty of color. I kind of like that my my cutting pads match the die. That's pretty cool. Because of all these cutouts. It's, it makes this dark paper lighten up. And then these designs from Diane Reevely's stencils. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Amazing. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. Well, this is definitely worth the wait. And... I am gonna have so much fun with it. Oh my gosh, look at that, from that unattractive paper. <laughs> Don't ever throw your papers out when you make them. You just never know how cool they're going to turn out. Amazing. Oh my gosh. So now, now that we've got that, I was going to maybe cut out a square and put the mermaid tail on it, but it's so colorful. You could just, you could cut out like a cream colored mermaid tail, put it on this, and that would be beautiful. Let's cut out a cream colored one. I have, you know what? I have this right here. I have my other Dilution small journal with some spare paper in it. It's such a beautiful cream color and the papers will match. Let's cut out a cream tail and see how that turns out. And then we'll, maybe we'll put that, we'll put that on a card. colorful card. So gorgeous. It, I'm surprised at the CHA when it was, I think it was the 2018 CHA. That's where I saw this and then I searched it online so I could pre-order it. Um, I'm surprised they were running it through multiple times. It, it doesn't need it. Here's the key right there. Get this section. Get this section. And then the tail's going to come out. Look how easy it falls out. And I'm just using the other end of my pickup tool. I, I don't know if you're supposed to use this as a die pick. But I do. Okay. So, I won't make you guys wait while I do that. But how would that look? Oh! 
Oh my gosh, on a card? I think we might need to glue that down. So. Okay, I apologize for this and it's live so I can't like sit it, set it to music and fast forward. But hey, at least you guys know exactly what to be prepared for and how easy it is. Oh, this is, I can't even believe you can make a dye this ornate. I mean, can, I don't, can you see how tiny that sliver is? And to think she hand drew this and then they created this. And because I'm using the Dilutions paper, this is a heavier paper because it's made for her inks. It's, it's handling all this very well. Maybe if you run it through a couple of times, it just falls right out. I don't know. It could be. We'll try it. But I, I ordered this and it just, it, I kept getting emails. Don't worry, we know you've pre-ordered this. We're working on it. We haven't forgotten about it. So this, I think, if you want one of these, go online and find it quick because I have a feeling it will sell out. And it may take a little while to get it back in stock. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I hope that didn't take too long. It's fun on this end, so you never know how long it's taking. And I wouldn't really worry about it if you miss a couple, I think it will look fine. Fine, fine, fine. So, this seems like something I would want to run through my Xyron machine, but I'm going to try it with just a glue stick, because then everybody has one of those. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. Okay, so what I have over here is I did have some preparation. I, this was just some Tim Holtz oxides. I used the, I think it's called Mermaid, and then um, a, one of the blues. And these dyes, I'm almost positive this is Lawn Fawn rectangular dyes. I got it from scrapbook.com. One, two, three, four dies. I'm going to use the large one. And we can look to see which way we think she would be swimming. I kind of like the blue. I kind of like that blue. Oh, that's a perfect fit. Scooch that over. And if you kind of tilt these a little bit, it doesn't make that loud noise. I've heard people call it a speed bump before. Now hold it down better. It doesn't take any pressure. It just wiggles on my, my bar top. So we have a gorgeous finished off rectangle and in my opinion oh wow that's still pretty isn't it but I want to use the cream oh my gosh like that's amazing fabulous 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 all right, get my trusty glue stick out, and oh, and you know this glue stick will pick up any extra pieces. I think the key is probably just get around the perimeter real good, get your little edges, and holy smokes, that is gorgeous. 
Look at that, a piece of plain paper. That's just glue. I do, I did see one piece right here that didn't pop out. See if we can pop it out. If not, no biggie. There we go. Glue stick gives you time. And anything that doesn't lay down, just hit it again. That's probably where my fingers were. And you know, since this is on distress oxides, you might want to use some sort of glue stick because if you get it wet with glue, it might transfer onto here which quite frankly might be gorgeous. So I'll just get, I have some, it's called Love Nicole cards and envelopes, A2 cards, four and a quarter by five and a half. I'll just grab one of these. I can't believe we're gonna make a card this quick. This card is ready. I, I just thought I was going to mess around with it. And look, we've made a card. Oh. Okay, get my trusty, I don't know what that is. Get that off of there. Get my trusty Staples One Touch double sided tape. I play with my distress oxide sometimes. Sometimes I just want color in my life and I just play. And sometimes I don't really have any particular card I need to make for a certain person. So, um, and I get a new color in and I want to play with it. And so handy to just look, look at how simple this was and how beautiful this is. And you could just, I brought over some stamps. You're thinking, ah, what are you gonna put on it? Well, these Hero Art stamps, you can see I haven't used these cutie pies yet. These little cutie um, seahorses, wishing you oceans of joy. I mean, that, that could apply to anything. Just keep swimming, they're having a bad day. That would so apply to that. I have a flamingo one. I think it says you're fabulous. Well, this is fabulous. Oh my gosh. Look at, it's done. I can't believe it. I'm stunned, stupefied, can't, over paper that I wasn't that crazy about. And then I've got this finished off piece. I could put this, place this in here, place it in here and put a sentiment, whatever. Oh my beautifulness. I cannot believe it. So worth the wait. Look at that. I didn't even use. Oh, you could take the seashells. You could just pop a seashell right here in the corner. I wonder if I could. I might not be able to get an exact. But I could make another sheet. That's the great thing about the distress oxides and making your own background. You just make another sheet. Fantastic. I feel like I need to put this on something. And I've just got some pre-made tags. A lot of times I make tags a particular size, but sometimes, oh, and you know what's also good is these Tim Holtz thinlets have all of these sayings on it. Pop one right across there, stick one inside. I can't believe it. This was effortless. So, what shall we do? You could put it on here. Actually, you could double it up like that. But, put it right on here. Oh, she comes off a little bit. You know you could have her come off completely. But, now this is a Diane Reevely tag. It's a bigger tag. You could put this here and just have all kinds of stuff. You could have waves coming up. 
amazing. Let's move on to the unicorn. I'll definitely do another video on this. This was entirely too easy and too fun. All right. I have, I also have this little wave die. You could maybe cut some water, line it up. Oh my gosh, definitely have to do that. Okay, so let's move on to the baby unicorn because that was the original. I, I have to have that unicorn because my daughter loves unicorns. So move this. Cannot believe it. Who makes a card that quick? I don't even know how long I've been on here, but who, honestly, who makes a card that quick? So let me focus, get back to business. Oh, so happy. Okay, so I am, I was wondering, should I do a white unicorn and put it on this tag? This is just another Tim Holtz tag I used. I mean, I believe it was Tim Holtz. I believe, yes, I did Tim Holtz Distress Oxides. I did one, I did water through a stencil. Then I sprayed on top of it with Dilusions, her white ink. I mean, just messing around. If you have it in your kit, it's paper. If you mess it up, it's no big deal. So, let's just try her. Let's just try her in white. I mean, a white unicorn. And then I brought glitter paper over too. I just have some white sitting off to the side. I always have white paper. I have a paper cutter over here, just going to trim it down. Okay. And you probably can't see my, it's like a guillotine paper cutter. I bought that from a, from a online auction. I think it was like 10 bucks. I absolutely love that thing. I still want Tim Holtz tonic because I think it probably gives you a cleaner cut. Okay, let's see what one path does. I have a feeling it will work perfectly. Oh, it is so cute. Oh, and everything just pops out. This is just cheap paper from Joanne that they sell you know, when they do that 10 five for a dollar or 10 for a dollar whatever they do when they have their paper sale okay so now we will we'll bump out her little spots can you imagine making a cute little tag and sticking it in your child's lunch box have a magical day oh you gotta do that she is so cute. And again, what's the girl? Jane Davenport just drew this. Oh my gosh. How creative. You can leave any of these in that you want. Say you don't want to accentuate the cutie nose. Or say you want the tail to be a solid color. You can leave those in. You know what? We're going to, since I've got such a colorful piece of paper. I'm gonna pop these out. You know, you see the stuff at CHA and you think, ah, oh, can I do it? I'm gifted. Oh. And this, I just played with this tag to make this. I think that's pretty. I think that's very pretty. However, what else could we do? What happens? If you just take, I have this, if you just have this tag too, she's phenomenal. Out of a piece of white cardstock. Let's see what other, oh, now I have this. Now, what if you just put the colors behind here, the horn here? I really like that. I just have this pink.
Oh, oh my gosh. I think this is the winner right here. It looks like it's like a feel. This is some Tim Holtz paint. I think it's like an antique gold over top of his. It's like a salmon colored distress oxide. Just simply playing. Oh my gosh. That's the winner. That's the one I'm going to do. I can't take it. I'm going to use this long fawn dye again. Let's see. I want this. Line this up so the spots. I'm so excited. I can't hardly concentrate. That looks nice. Okay, so we'll do that. Line it up so so. Let's see. Let's put her back on there before we cut. Kind of want, I mean, she could stand just like this, a little bit on the ground. I don't like that dot right there where her nose is. I want her off center. I think I like it better over here. Sorry I'm being so particular about Okay, I think I like it like that. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to line up the dots so they're not in a strange place. Like under her horn, under her eye. Okay, I think that's good. I'm happy. And if you're not happy, you can always just make yourself another background paper. Look at it's even cute like this. I think that's the, what they call a speed bump, but I had to have it in straight. I think this is Lawn Fawn. I'm pretty positive I bought it from scrapbook.com. I could have bought it from Simon Says Stamp. I'll try to I'll try to keep track better of where I buy stuff. Kind of new at this. Yeah, kind of new at this. And look how easy it is. Everyone should be doing this. So much fun. <gasps> Do you just die? You know, I always liked this paper. I thought, oh, that's so pretty. That salmon color and the antique gold paint. I think I only have, I think I only have a container of his paint. And look at that. I'm not, don't think I'm any sort of seasoned professional. I haven't even had this thing for a year. I got this in January. That's how easy it is to use. There's really not a learning curve. It's just having fun. I want her lower. Cheap cardstock. Elmer's a glue stick. So I think we're seeing the key to this is a good die and a good die cutting machine.
I know her tail needs a little more because I was holding that. Oh, but look, it's on there. Good. Get the little excess off. Get the little extra pieces off. I had no idea I was going to be able to make two cards this quickly. I'm going to use these same A2 cards by, it says, Love Nicole. Um, maybe rinse my fingers off real quick so I don't get glue on the inside of my card in all of my excitement. Oh my gosh. Out my trusty little. I cannot believe this. I am so happy. And this is how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be fast. You're supposed to be able to use and combine with what you already have. I think I saw a video where one of the Creator said, I don't want people to buy everything I make, but I want them to be able to use what they do buy. Definitely dies that you can use if you buy. I am so happy and so shocked at how gorgeous that is. I don't think I've ever made a card that quickly. Look at that. Let me bring it up closer. So quick, so simple, so easy. I totally recommend these dies. Not that I'm like any sort of professional, but just as somebody who loves doing this, I recommend it. Where's my, I put my, and here's my other card. I cannot believe this and this that simple. So simple. Well, guys, and look at the colors. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys for watching. I had an absolute blast. I will do another one of these and we'll have my stuff much more put together. I just don't want to make this so long. I mean, I had pulled out glitter paper and all kinds of other dyes and it was just so simple. Rectangular die, pre-made card, a couple backgrounds I already had, white cardstock, well, cream, because Diane Reevely's is cream, and white, whatever you'd like. Oh my gosh, thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day.